Hey everybody, it's David Bethune from The Mimics Company with your Mickey Masterclass, What a Mickey Should Be. Today, we're gonna to look at how Mickey is different from other ways of documenting your projects and how you can get the most out of these differences to make your information beautiful and easy for the team to access. So let's get started. Mickey is a wiki, and wiki is the Hawaiian word for quick. We use that word to describe this kind of documentation, not because it's quick to create, You'll likely spend hours developing your team's materials. We use the word wiki because it's quick to get started, quick to add materials, and quick to make changes. If you do a good job of organizing your wiki, it will also be quick for users to find the information they need. First of all, a wiki isn't like a book because you don't have to have everything right, right away. Now, I know that sounds crazy. Why would you publish something unless it were all correct? Well, there's a very good reason, and I'll get to it in a minute. But for now, keep in mind that it's okay to publish in a wiki, even if everything isn't complete. Second, a wiki isn't like a pile of papers or even a folder in the cloud, because papers and cloud documents aren't linked to each other, and linking things together in a wiki is a really big deal. Another unusual feature of wikis is that people might read your pages in any order. Wikis are designed to let your team jump in and get quick access to the answers they need without reading through a traditional document. It's good to think of your pages as individual chunks of information that might be accessed alone without the person ever reading anything else in your wiki, unless you link to it. But the most unusual feature of wikis, and maybe the most important, is that your team and your audience can help you update your pages and correct errors. Remember we said earlier it was okay to publish incomplete information? Both you and your team or audience can edit the wiki pages later, magnifying your ability to write quality documentation. By adding editors to your wiki, you recruit others to help you correct errors, add new information where it makes sense, and to improve the wiki over time. Now, here's another difference from Word or PDF files. With a wiki, you can easily see who made changes and undo them even weeks or months after the fact. You can decide later which parts of any person's edits that you want to keep and which you want to throw away. Take advantage of your wiki's history and undo capabilities to get the best contributions from all your editors. Okay, there are exactly five things that make a wiki great. So let's take a look at them. First, a wiki must have great navigation. People can't use your information if they can't find it. Include headers and icons in your navigation to help folks get to the most frequently used facts quickly. Once there's too much good stuff to fit in the navigation bar, you can create section or landing pages that help people navigate to deeper links inside the topic. Then make these section pages the links on your main navigation. The next thing every great wiki needs is a simple homepage. I say simple because you should resist the temptation to throw in everything but the kitchen sink. The primary purpose of the homepage is to welcome first-time users and assure them they've arrived at the right place. Get creative with your branding and graphics, and if you have links, only put in the most important ones. If your wiki is well designed, many users will arrive at a section or landing page instead of the home page. These are like mini home pages with their own graphics and links. Keep in mind that your users will also share links to individual pages, something that isn't possible with traditional documents. Landing pages and individual topic pages should be somewhat self-contained so that people can share complete coverage of the topic. The next thing every great wiki must have is links where they make sense. And that's a really important point, making sense. You could spend a lot of time linking everything to everything, but that wouldn't really help your users. A good linking strategy is to link to deeper information when the link isn't already on the primary navigation. If there's more than one place a detailed topic is mentioned, Add a link only from the first mention on that page. Once your wiki has a lot of detailed individual pages, you can create a quick links section to let users jump to other pages that they might need during a process. 
If you include this section at the top of all the detail pages, users can easily jump to the part of the process that's relevant to them, even if someone shared a link to a different step. Now, here again, it's important not to overdo it. A quick link section only makes sense if the reader is likely to need those links while they're working on whatever this page is about. Resist your ability to link everything to everything, because that gets overwhelming for users really quickly. The next thing every great wiki must have is special formatting. And what do I mean by special? Well, that's any kind of formatting you add to your text that makes it easier for users to find the right answers, follow a process, or use an example. Mickey includes lots of special formatting, and you'll find examples of all of it in the user's guide. You can add headers and lists, of course, but you've also got access to cool icons and button designs that show exactly how your product works. When you need to document complex instructions or code, add code blocks and users can copy them in one click. Remember, you don't have to add special formatting all at once. It's perfectly okay to get your ideas down as plain text and then improve the formatting over time. As your information changes, consider changing the formatting to make things easier for users to find. The last thing a great wiki needs is media and links to outside documents. You can take advantage of the navigation and page design features of your wiki to help users find files outside your wiki. Things like pictures, videos, PDF files, and web pages. One easy way to improve access to outside documents is just by giving them a simple name instead of using the longer, more complicated file name on the other end of the link. You can use your wiki to link to any kind of file on your computer or your network. You can also use special formatting to turn outside links into link lists, quick links, and landing pages. Finally, you can include pictures, diagrams, and videos directly inside your wiki pages to give your readers immediate access to visual information. The last bit I want to share with you before we close is the two things that every wiki reader should know. The first is that you can and should edit the wiki, especially when you find errors that you can fix. This includes stuff like typos, broken links, or sentences with missing words. When there's information to add that could be helpful to others, just add it. Your changes won't get lost in a stream of comments. They'll be directly added to the page. The second thing to know is that administrators can review the history for any page in the wiki. This allows them to undo edits that might be an error or to combine edits from individual users into a better version of the page. It's also your reassurance that your edits didn't wipe out anyone else's work. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this Mickey Masterclass. You can find other classes as well as many examples of the things we've talked about here inside your Mickey User's Guide. Thanks again for your time.